So as most of you know, Bethesda recently just released Starfield to everyone. I know uh, it's almost like uh, just a giant mouthful to get out because it's, it's really like the day I never thought would actually come that Bethesda finally released this game. But in saying that, this game is released. I think myself and most kind of thought that Bethesda would be doing practically nothing but talking about this game for like the next year, especially considering they developed this game for like, I don't even know, eight or nine years at this rate. I think they started in like 2015, which is just absolutely crazy to think of. In saying all of that, Bethesda, AKA Todd Howard, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ himself, has actually gone out and in a new IGN interview has actually confirmed a lot of new news and information on the new Indiana Jones game that he is of course executive producing and that Bethesda Softworks will be releasing. Now I think a lot of people thought this game was going to be pretty far away like a, a 2026 type of thing or something like that but we're legitimately towards the end of 2023 now and the amount of new information and news that Todd Howard has revealed in this interview is quite surprising. So I'm gonna read through this interview with you guys. Look, I'm not the greatest reader. I didn't do that great in school, but I hope you guys can forgive me if I absolutely butcher the fuck out of a word. Please don't roast me in the comments down below, but you know what it says, we knew that Wolfenstein developer Machine Games is working on a new Indiana Jones video game. But news since its announcement has been minimal. But according to Todd Howard, we might get more information on this mystery mystery seat. There I go. Mystery game next year. In an interview with Esquire, Howard did not share much in regards to the upcoming game, but teased that we could have more to share down the road. Howard would talk more about the Indiana Jones. I can tell he really wants to, but he's not allowed, the article reads. Instead, as I exit his office, he flashes that smile. We'll talk next year. The interview also explains how Howard pitched Lucasfilm back in 2009 to make an Indiana Jones game, stating it was on Howard's bucket list to make such a game, explaining that it didn't work out back then, but in years since, Disney was interested in the pitch. But Bethesda Softworks announced back in 2021 that it was collaborating with Lucasfilm Games to publish a new game based on the Indiana Jones IP, with Machine Games handling development. Through, oh, though following its January 2021 announcement, details are slim. We do know that due to the Xbox vs FTC trial that occurred over the summer, Indiana Jones was originally planned to be released on the PS5 until Machine Games and Bethesda Softworks' parent company Zenimax Media was acquired by Microsoft. Outside of being on an Xbox console exclusive, which is literally confirmed now that we know this is going to be an Xbox console exclusive, which I think a lot of people are, I don't think shocked about, more or so disappointed. I think a lot of people wanted to play this game on PS5, but let's be honest here. Xbox have been getting beaten for the most part in console exclusives for like the last 10 years. As just a general gamer myself, I can name you a ton of PlayStation exclusives like The Last of Us, Spider-Man, uh, God of War, Uncharted, the new Wolverine game that is of course going to be coming out, the Ratchet and Clank games, amongst many, many more. But with Xbox, it's been pretty slim. I mean, you've still got Halo there, which, you know, Halo and Forza Horizon, but they've been exclusives for a long, long time, and player bases for those games have definitely dropped off in recent years, so they desperately needed to do something huge to try and compete with them. If we're not going to include Halo and Forza, because let's be honest here, I don't really know many people who still play Halo. If we're going to not include them, then you really had no version exclusives going against, of course, PlayStation. But now Xbox, who acquired Obsidian, Bethesda, and of course Activision, will now have the Outer Worlds as an exclusive, I believe. I think the next Outer World game is 100% an exclusive. They'll have Indiana Jones as an exclusive. They've just got Starfield as an exclusive. I don't think the Fallout and Elder Scroll games will be pure 
Xbox exclusives. I could definitely be wrong there, but who even knows? I mean, they probably will be, but I, I still have hope that there's going to be a spin-off game that comes out, which will probably be an exclusive, you know, like a Fallout New Vegas 2 or something. And then I wouldn't be surprised if we know Xbox just rinsed Call of Duty and got some Call of Duty spin-off game or something as an exclusive, this and that. Candy Crush 2 exclusive, you heard it here first. Again, this is kind of crazy to think now that there's another competitor here. If this Indiana Jones game is a big success, which I think we definitely know it could be, it is a version exclusive. It also says that we know that Todd Howard will serve as the game's executive producer. In a previous interview, Howard noted that the upcoming game, Indiana Jones, would be a mashup of different genres. So again, there's a lot to take out of this article, but also a little bit to talk about when we actually mention the potential leaks here too. For example, the big two things to take out of this article is that Todd Howard just basically said, we're gonna get a lot of more news about this game next year. That could definitely be a teaser trailer, probably not gameplay. I think this game will most likely be a 2025 release date and I tell you why now. The other leak that's rumored to be going around is that this game is actually halfway finished and has been in development for a couple of years now. So I would imagine now that they've got the story and how they want to go about the game and the voice acting would be quite progressed, I would assume this and that, I would assume they would f continue to finish this game throughout all of 2024. And then I think halfway through 2025, they'll also work on it. And I think we'll get an end of the year 2025 release date. That's my opinion. Again, this is just a leak that was probably from a little bit ago. Some, of course, when people leak news, it doesn't always have to be recent news. For example, the GTA 6 leaks were literally someone leaking gameplay of GTA 6 in 2023, but the gameplay was from like 2018, 2019, right? This news that this game could be halfway completed, although is being leaked, if true, in 2023, could have been news back from 2022, 2021 even. I think 2022. Realistic thing is, yes, this could still be a 2024 release date. I would assume 2025, but it's definitely not going to be as late as 2026 or 27 like some people out there have been saying. Realistic thing is, Todd Howard basically saying that we will get a lot more news and information on this game in 2024 makes a lot of sense because I don't think Bethesda are going to have a whole lot to show when they have their Xbox conference in 2024. Again, we know the Starfield DLC and stuff will be coming out before the conference, I believe. So the realistic thing is, considering the last three years have been nothing but Starfield, I would assume next year, we'll not only get a lot of more news and information on this Indiana Jones exclusive game from Bethesda Softworks, but I think we'll get a lot of more news and information about a the Fallout 4 creation club content that I'll touch on real quick. My whole entire projection about this has been completely true. For those of you who've been watching the channel for quite a while now, you guys would know that I said we wouldn't be getting any new Creation Club content or the Fallout 4 next gen update until Starfield was released. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about here, um, quick side note from the Indiana Jones news. Basically at the end of 2022, Bethesda did go on their website and officially confirm that Fallout 4 would not only be getting a next gen update to the Xbox Series X and S and the PS5, but also confirmed a ton of new content will be getting released in the form of the Fallout 4 Creation Club, basically being the DLC, like a DLC type pack, I would assume, that was supposed to be released for the Elder Scrolls 6, uh, for the Elder Scrolls 5, sorry, which did get released for their special edition. Again, realistic thing with this is, I said it didn't make a whole lot of sense that we would get that in 2023, just based off the fact that Starfield was being released. I knew that Bethesda didn't want to take attention off that game and it just wouldn't make any sense at all. And obviously I was right. They did say it'd be coming this year. I just thought that was absolute bullshit. Again, it looks like it will 100% be coming next year now. I do expect Fallout 4 to not only be, you know, get some updated textures, lighting, and all that type of stuff for the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, 
but I think there will be so much Creation Club content and mini DLC, it'll be crazy. Again, we know, officially confirmed by Bethesda and people working on the Creation Club back in 2020, that they had a lot of content in development that has been developed since 2019. They just couldn't release it and couldn't get everything finished because of the, you know, COVID and all that type of stuff that ended up happening. Bethesda had to work remotely. And then once that was done, it was reported some stuff was being worked on, but was being held due to Bethesda apparently getting sued. Essentially, they were getting sued because uh, people were claiming that all, if they bought the season pass, which guaranteed all DLC, they should be getting the Creation Club for free, but they just weren't getting the Creation Club for free. We know that I think Bethesda handled that lawsuit now, whether they won or lost. We know new Creation Club is coming. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's all the end of the 2019 content that we didn't get released, all the early 2021 content that we didn't get released, and um, of course, maybe some of the content they worked on in 2021, and probably not 2022, but maybe they've started working on some more stuff in 2023 as they've been working on this new next-gen update. So that's my prediction. Again, a little bit of a sidebar from the Indiana Jones news, but in my opinion, for the 2024 Xbox Games Showcase, I would assume we're going to get a ton of new news about the Fallout Next Gen update. Probably just showing a little teaser trailer of some of the Creation Club content. Knowing Bethesda, they probably won't include any teasers about the lighting or whatever graphical changes are being made. And of course, I think the big one will be by, by Bethesda Softworks will be the Indiana Jones game. Again, will it be a trailer? Will it be gameplay? It could definitely well be, especially if, as I mentioned previously in this video, if that leak that this game is halfway done was from a year or two ago, and that news was from a year or two ago, sorry, then yeah, maybe so. But if the leak, if the leaker just found out that news right now that this game was halfway done, then let's be honest here, it's probably only going to be a teaser trailer. That's the realistic situation behind the whole entire thing, and I think that's just probably where they're going to be heading. The other thing to, of course, talk about as well is that we, we, I expect us, in my opinion, that we will get some Fallout 76 Atlantic City DLC news and information potentially at the Xbox showcase as well. Again, we know a trailer for that did come. I, I think they, I can't even remember, I think they said in the trailer that it would be coming. Um, they just said coming soon. They didn't say 2023 or 2024. A lot of people had high hopes that it would be 2023. I just kind of knew, as I said previously in this video, with all the Starfield, you know, stuff coming out this year, but Bethesda wouldn't want to release a bunch of content to other games and whatnot that would take away from Starfield and people playing that. So that just wouldn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So in my opinion, we could also get a Fallout 76 Atlantic City DLC trailer next year again we've only got the teaser for this so yeah there's going to be a lot that bethesda could be revealing in 2024 because they've been hiding a lot of projects and the softworks company has been working on a lot of projects and stuff that we just haven't heard about because bethesda have been talking pretty much nothing but starfield for the last two to three years which is fair enough i mean they've been working on this game for an extremely long time but the fact that Indiana Jones is going to be a version exclusive to Xbox by this report, again, Xbox and PC, I would assume, that is really interesting to me, and that's just giving Xbox another game to compete with PlayStation and Sony, and hey, look, they're finally doing something to Xbox. This is actually pretty interesting to me. Of course, I would very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Are you guys excited for potentially Bethesda and Xboxes? like E3 showcase, whatever you call it. They're just game showcase. Do you guys think we're gonna get a lot of new, more news about Indiana Jones? Will we get some Fallout 76 Atlantic City DLC news? A Fallout 4 next gen update and Creation Club content news? All of this type of stuff. I would very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions down below on what are your guys' projections because I honestly don't know. I theorize every year and I think a lot of people do and 99.9% .9 of the time we are all mostly very wrong. We could, look, we could get a Fallout New Vegas 2 announcement next year for all I know. Obviously not. That's wishful thinking from a fat kid who's just behind a mic. 
But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. I'd very much like to know. Subscribe to my sports channel, my IRL slash vlogging channel, all of them, and my podcast. Link down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>